Hello, everyone. Today I will give a lecture about the trunk bone. So the trunk bone, I just uh, introduced the vertebral column to you. So we now we just uh, clarify one by one. And uh, number one, yeah, everybody know this is a vertebra. So vertebra, we have the body. See, this one is the body and connect to the arch. That's what we call the vertebral arch. And the body arch, they connected each other by the pedicle. In the center, they form the foramen, vertebral foramen. And the vertebral foramen, vertebral foramen, each one, they connected each other. So they form the vertebral canal. And arch, everything. We have the seven process. So seven process, so I will, we will recognize it, so one by one. Number one, two, right, left, that's what we call the transverse process. And the number one, on the backward, so the body anterior, the arch posterior, okay. So posterior portion, we still have one process, so this one, everybody can knock it, touch it, one by one, one by one. So this one we call the spinal process. Two transverse process, one spinal process, and we have four articular process. Four articular process I will show you. So inferior articular process and the superior articular process. Okay, good. So they form each one, one by one, so I will show you. If I find the two vertebra, they connected each other, they joined together, so we will find, so be careful, see? This one is the superior articular process and this one is the inferior articular process. So upper one, inferior articular process, connect to the lower one, superior articular process. So they form the one by one vertebral column. And this one is the vertebral canal, vertebral canal. So contains the spinal cord. By the way, we can move the arm, move the finger. So it depends on the spinal nerve. So spinal cord send out spinal nerve. How they send out it? Anyone know? Yes, remember pedicle? Yes. We have the spinal pedicle, so I will show you here. Pedicle, we have a superior notch, inferior notch, so they form the intervertebral foramen. So spinal nerve from the spinal cord pass through the vertebral foramen and then come out. They get together and between them we have the vertebral disc. So be careful. I bend my back. So what would happen? So I will show you here. Bend, see? So the disc would be pressed. High pressure. High pressure. Sometimes old men always broken the disc. So the disc would become out, injury the spinal nerve. That's what we call the, the intervertebral disc hernia. It's a very common disease. So we have one body, one arch, and the seven process. So I will clarify one by one of the, our cervical vertebrae 7, thoracic vertebral 12, lumbar vertebral 5, and the sacral vertebral 5, and the coccyx 3 or 4. So number one, the same, body, arch, and process. So this is the number one, that's the number one cervical vertebra, okay, number one cervical vertebra. So we have special name atlas, and the number two, we call the axis, okay. So they connect to each other. So number one, look like a ring, see? Look like a ring, so there's no body, okay, no body. No body, we have an anterior and posterior process, okay. 
And is it special? Yes. See? Transverse process, we have the transverse foramen. Two transverse foramen just uh, pass through the vertebral artery. to support our brain, okay, from the heart. So all the men, because the bony substance would be enlarged here. So look like, for example, this is the artery, and the bony substance enlarged would be place the artery, it would be stop the blood supply. So all the men sometimes they turn around the head, so they just feel darkness suddenly. So this is the number two. The body. Spinal process. Transverse process. We have the dams, so that's what we call the dams. Okay, the dams just connect to the first cervical vertebra. So they form the, that's what we call the atlas axis joint. So first one, we have articular surface here. So they form the joint to the occipital bone for the skull occipital bone. Someone would say, can I feel the cervical vertebra? Yes, you can feel it one by one, one by one, and suddenly you will find longest spinal process. Yes, this one. It's the seventh cervical vertebra. So seventh cervical vertebra, we have the we have the longest spinal process. Okay, so we can calculate in the vertebra. Up one is C six, low one is T one. So let's go vertebra first. That's the first so let's go vertebra. This too is a solastic vertebra. Solastic vertebra have the body the same. Okay, I will show you. So the body the arch and the spinal process transverse process. Process. We have the articular surface on the by side of the body. Why? Because the rib just touched here. That's what we call the costophobia. The upper one half, low one half. So upper one, low one, they form the whole cavity, contain the head of the rib. Now I will talk about the large one. The large one, which large? The body is large. Okay, the body is large. So that's what we call the, the lumbar vertebra. The spinal plus is horizontal. And the body is very really large, then so let's take a vertebra and the cervical vertebra. Because I will show you, see? Cervical vertebra just support the head and the solastic vertebra support the neck and the head. So how about the lumbar vertebra? Yes, it support the whole body, up limb, and the head and the neck. So he very heavy pressure. So that's the body is very large. The lumbar vertebra and below lumbar vertebra that's what we call the sacrum. Okay, sacrum form the pubic cavity. Okay, pubic cavity. Someone would ask me, why you just hold one bone, not five? So I will show you. Because, see, the five sacral vertebra, they connected each other, they joined together. Synestrosis, okay? So they couldn't move now, okay? But formed the single one. That's what we call the sacrum. 
Where is the intervertebral foramen? The nerve come out. So I will show you. First, we will recognize anterior and posterior surface. So anterior surface. So intervertebral foramen they form one, two, three, four. Anterior sacral foramen and posterior side. We have the posterior one, two, three, four. Sacral foramen. Lateral side, see? Lateral side look like an ear. So that's what we call the auricular surface. So auricular surface that's connected to the joint, to the hip bone. Anything else? Of course, yes. Where is the vertebral canal? See? I will show you here. It's a sacral canal. And the sacral canal, and then come out, so it's here. That's what we call the sacral hiatus. Sacral hiatus. Coccyx. Where is the coccyx? I will tell you the. So coccyx is very small. Still have the three or three or more coccygeal vertebra they connect each other. In human being, it's very small. Okay. So which animal is very longer? Yes, everybody knows monkey. That's what I said today. It's the balls of the chuck. Thank you.